God's love today. I am getting ready to start a new series about the love of God. And I just want you, as you listen to this broadcast, each week you're going to come and experience God that you've never experienced before. Amen? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. Brothers and sisters, everybody know that God love, loves them. But everybody don't everybody just have a mental ascent of the of God's love. You ask everybody, do you know God loves you? Yes, I know that. But do you really know how much He loves you? So I just want you to know from your heart that you are loved by God. You know, religion said you have to perform for God to love you. But no. Jesus already did it. It's a finished work. Jesus did it on the cross. It's a finished work on the cross. Jesus, God is pleased with you because of Jesus. You can't work or earn your salvation. It's through accepting Jesus as Lord of your life. And that's all. And the rest, by the grace of God, He will help you. And it's all about a relationship with God. Today, you may be going through something, but I just want to know how much God is thinking about you. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For the thought that I think towards you, good and not evil. God is thinking about you today. Man, you may be messed up and you feel like God can be thinking about me. Yes. He loves you. He is so in love with you. He's chasing after you. But no, you're just thinking, man, I've messed up. I've sinned. You know, Jesus paid the price for your sin. It's not about a sin issue. Yes, you want to repent and, and accept your salvation. But after that, it's relationship. All God wants is a relationship with your brothers and sisters. He just wants you to know that He wants you. He wants you. You know, when Adam messed up in the garden, when the enemy tricked Adam in the garden, man, Right there, God, like, listen, I'm go I'm going after my children back. When the devil deceived Adam, God is like, I'm coming back. In fact, God was 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 saying to Adam, Adam, where are you? It's I mean, it's God. He know where Adam was. All what God was was want to know is Adam. Are we still in relationship? Are we still communicating? Can we still communicate? Uh, yeah. Can we still have a relationship? That's all God wants. He loves us so much. Even when we messed up, His grace is sufficient. His grace will help us and enable us to know that we are the righteousness of God. That we don't need to run from God, but run to Him. Amen. God, when I have an encounter with God years ago, when I was just, I just was hurt, messed up, trying to do everything on my own. And I mean, I was broken. And he told me, Herbert, I love you. Wow, he's calling me by my name, Herbert. When I heard that, Herbert, I was like, wow. <laughs> like, oh, that was God. I finally get quiet. And he spoke to me that morning. And it was awesome. So I just want you to know, man, your daddy is fighting for you. Your creator is fighting 
for you and I. He rejoices over you. Zephaniah 3, 7, he rejoices over you. Somebody like, how can God rejoice over a sinful, wretched person like me? See, you look at your behavior, but he's looking at your heart. If you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, you are in the family. And I'm going to give you, those of you who have never made Jesus Lord of your life, to come to make that decision today or tonight, wherever you are in the world. Sometimes you, you know, you're driving this morning and you, you pop this on. Man, I tell you, your day is going to be so awesome because your creator wants you to come back to him. You have a, yes, you, you just did this bang, some bang. No, you are created by God and you are created to know him. John 17, 3 said, let, let's read it. Let me, let, let me go to the scripture to share this, this scripture because I wanted to hear it. 317, um, 17, 3, sir. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, Jesus Christ, who you have sent. God sent Jesus for you and I. God he wants you to know him, to know him as your creator first and your God. He wants you to know him, brothers and sisters. He wants a relationship with you. You cannot, he didn't create you just to be you by yourself, just take up space in this hurt. He wants you to know him, to come into a relationship with him, to know what he loves you. Man, I tell you, when you, you know, even in the world, when you know your earthly father is in love with you, it makes such a confidence in you to, to do, to have that relationship with him to do stuff much better in your life because you know, man, my daddy loved me. How much more your heavenly father is in love with you through his son, Jesus. Amen? I just want you to know because for, for me, for so many years, I've been living in religion, living my life religiously. I, I, I confess going to bed, God forgive me for the sin that I did today. Even when I wake up in the morning, forgive me Lord for sin that, that I might do. Oh my, I was such a sin conscious person instead of a love conscience, conscience, conscience person. Amen? Your father loves you. And I just want, you know, these weeks as we go through this teaching and preaching, I'm just want you and, and while you're watching this you're going to have an an experience that you've never asked before the spirit of god is going to touch you he's going to i mean you're going to have encounters i mean healing you know perfect love castled fear you know knowing that he loves you all the fear of god the when you know what you love you is perfect love man your relationship's going to get better with him he just God is just such an awesome God and a father that he, I mean, he sent his only son, his only son for you and I. Man, that is awesome. I'm telling you, man, some of you out there are like, like a prodigal son and daughter and you walk away from God. Maybe religion hurt you. You might hurt in the church by your brothers or sister, but I'm telling you, God is a good God and He loves you. He loves you so much. Man, you could tell Him everything. You know, that's relationship with intimacy with Him. When you could talk to Him, He said, Come, intimacy is come in and talk. Come in and talk to me. Get to know me. He wants to know you. He knows you, but He wants you for your heart to hear yourself saying stuff to him. Talk to him. He's there to listen. He sent this spirit, the Holy Spirit to help you, 
to guide you so that you don't have to be alone. Amen? Your Father in heaven is fighting for you. And so, this is the first of, a, of, of the first part of, of our, our program. And so, I just want you to just tell your friends and family members about this. Experience God's love today with Brother Herbert Johnson. Amen? I just want you to know, brothers and sisters, that you are loved by God. Amen? And some of you are watching me. You have never made Jesus Lord of your life. And today, you can do that. All you have to do is to invite Him in your heart. Invite Him. Say, Jesus, I ask you to forgive me for my sin. Forgive me. I repent of my sin. I don't want to have a relationship with you. I accept you. I believe you died on the cross. And you rose again on the third day. And you are now seated in heaven with the Father. And I ask you to come in my heart right now and save me and touch me and help me to know you more by your Spirit. Amen? Praise God. Simple as that.